waiting here. I just thought about something. You ever, you ever thought to yourself, like when you're traveling or you're going to a specific place, how can you be a blessing or what's out there? Like what person do I need to reach? Who is in need of God? Who needs a word? As I'm waiting here in the airport, just thinking about those things, just like, God, like, who am I gonna sit next to on the plane that might need a word from you that you wanna give me to deposit in their lives? And, um, I was thinking about that. I want to know if maybe I'm the only one, but it's something that comes to my mind once in a while when I'm traveling or when I'm going different places as to like, how can I be a blessing to someone? How can I, you know, share the love of Christ to someone, even at an airport, having a cup of coffee, or even on the airplane with a stranger who's sitting next to you, but God just gives you a specific word. That's good. It's really good. I think we should ask God and pray more for that so we can always be ready and available to give a message or give a word to somebody that is in need. Not of me but of God, but God just wants to use you to give that word and bless that person when they least expect it because only God knows what they're going through and what they're dealing with, you know what I mean? God is good. Just a little food for thought while I'm still here. Unfortunately, at the airport still, New York City. But we're getting there. Enjoying my little muffin. So, uh, shall we continue? All right, everyone. So I filmed a first take, and when I filmed it, I literally cut off the top of my head. Um, I think I was too zoomed in to the lens. But I'm in Minneapolis right now, St. Paul. Um, got here safely. I have. A uh, quick like layover, I think like of an hour and some change um, into my last flight from Minneapolis to Hawaii. I'm excited because this th little thing's about to get real right now. Once I get into my plane, I'm going to be talking about the Delta One experience and what amenities you get while you're 15,000 feet up in the air. Um, it's gonna be a dope experience and I want everybody to see what it's like and what it's about. Um, if you don't know what the Delta One is, um, go check it out really quick. Pause this video and go check it out. But it's gonna be fire, trust me. I'm, I'm excited and I'm hyped. I'm tired at the same time, but it's gonna be dope. Um, so thank you for watching until now. Um, we're gonna see you in Hawaii in the next couple of hours but it's gonna be really quick for you guys so that's that's cool right so you'll be able to see it real fast you won't have to go through the uh, the process I'm going through even though it's gonna be a cool process so we'll see you pretty soon Hawaii here we come <laughs> Thank you.
settled in. And once I'm done finishing getting settled in, then I'll go ahead and we'll talk a little bit more about this Delta One experience. So keep watching because I'm just gonna get myself situated, put my bags up, and get ready to start recording all these little interviews, these bits and crannies of this whole setup here. It's pretty dope, it's pretty dope. So keep watching, keep watching.
video helpful.